These days, it appears like every housewife has a podcast. They address a variety of issues in addition to the events surrounding their concerts. But Teresa Giudis, star of Real Housewives of New Jersey, has the most popular podcast, Namast B. Dollar Teaches. Sadly, she had to terminate the podcast and has since severed her relationship with Melissa Feister, her previous co-host. A little controversy is now surfacing around the reason it terminated. Teresa has launched a new podcast, Turning the Tables, today. She hasn't really addressed the reason behind the last show's cancellation, though. Melissa acknowledged that there were other factors in addition to the fact that she was pregnant and wanted a vacation. She didn't elaborate on the circumstances, though. Teresa and Melissa's friendship, and what really happened to Namast B and Tichez, is the title of a recent episode of the podcast Dishing Drama with Dana Wilkie. The presenter discusses her recent hearings on the podcast's impending termination in this episode. Her recollections of Luis Urwela's and Melissa's purported brawl at Bravokan are among the best. The two T's in a pod podcast purportedly discussed this in addition to being observed by attendants. However, they subsequently deleted any reference to it. In reference to the said circumstance, she asserts, I know everyone's ears are going to perk right up when they hear that because they know that Tamara Judge and Teddy Mellencamp dropped a podcast, two T's in the pod, from Brave Oaken. The fact that they saw Melissa Feister sobbing and Luis Urwela's cursing at her stirred it up so much. Oh my God. They ended the program. Dana goes on. All of a sudden, that segment gets cut from the show. For everyone to hear, it has been reuploaded on their server. Something changes drastically, but it happens too late. Everyone at Brave Oaken heard about it and witnessed it as they passed Louis ranting at Melissa, and nothing will ever be the same. Dana goes on to ask Melissa why she wouldn't defend herself and would not admit that the fight with Lewis occurred at Brave Oaken. The presenter then claims to have knowledge that it actually did occur. Then, from very close sources that I trust in New Jersey, she says. Yes, it did in fact occur. The New Jersey fan community then provided me with proof that it had occurred from a variety of witnesses who were there at Brave Oaken. Following that, she discusses Melissa's discussion with Frank Catania and Joe Gorga. Considering Frank's tense relationship with Lewis, she claims she's startled by this. Dana continues. So, suddenly, I find out that Melissa Feister has been given an interview with Frank Catania and Joe Gorga. And the reason this occurred is that, I believe, Frank Catania introduced Melissa in some way to get Joe Gorga to go on the show. Frank appreciated Melissa Feister's kindness and had a positive experience with her. The anchor goes on. Furthermore, I found it hilarious that Frank Catania, who had been working behind the scenes in season 13 to be strongly opposed to Luis Arruelas, now supports Luis Arruelas and Teresa, letting them know that there was a plot to expose him for a number of wrongdoings that the cast believed he had committed in season 13. The presenter goes on to state that she thinks Melissa's concern for Teresa is why she persuaded Frank to inform Teresa of the plan. Therefore, they plan to sort of play it out at the reunion. Therefore, I found it intriguing that Frank chose to share this knowledge with Teresa Giudis and Louis Ruelas. To be honest, I believe Melissa Feister may have requested Frank for Teresa's assistance in this matter, since I believe Melissa really cared for Teresa Giudis and thought Teresa was her friend. Subsequently, she expresses amazement at several aspects of what she has discovered and resolves to inquire directly with Melissa. I can't even believe my ears and parts of it, she says as she relates the discussion. Later on in the process, I ask Melissa again. Is it true that this happened to you with Teresa? Melissa tells me. No, no, it's all lies. Nevertheless, when she presses Kim D to explain what actually transpired, Kim replies that Melissa is attempting to shield Teresa and is reluctant to reveal the truth, to reveal 